Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and Facebook and to this whole gorgeous world. Yeah, this world is beautiful, but the people in it can make the world seem a little chaos because of what we're doing. But we're not doing right, and that's what makes the world seem so bad. Yeah, this world is crazy. No, the people that's in the world makes it crazy. But there is a lot of good people out there, and we know that there's a lot of good Christians uh, not to bash anybody, there's a lot of church goers, there's a lot of people that go to church that's just trying to seek God out and see what this is all about. There's all kinds of people uh, in this world, that's what makes it so exciting. And the scripture says, you can quote me, he said, the harvest is plentiful. Got a lot of sinful people. The harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Meaning that there's a lot of people go to church, but that scripture means that they're not doing anything to help God build the kingdom of God. Going to church is just like going to job to your job, and on Friday everybody getting checks but you. That's what happens if you go to church, and you're just going to be going. You're not going to seek God's face like he talks about in Matthew 6.33. First seek me and be right about it, then I'll give you your desires that you want. I already take care of what you need, because a desire is not something you need. A desire is you pass a nice boat, you say, wow, I like that boat. Come on, that's a desire. If I get it, cool. If I don't, cool. Come on. And that's the way God wants Christians to be anyway. Yeah, I get stronger on my lack than my gain. If that make any sense. We're going to look at. Having the right attitude. On this attitude Monday. I want you to do a, uh, something for me this morning. Wake up with a little attitude. To let your attitude think that. It's going to be with you all morning. Have an attitude at home with your husband. Your children. Whatever you do. What you normally do. If you got an attitude this morning. On Monday morning. Which a lot of people do. So we're praying for you. And if you're watching this and you got an attitude, take that attitude with you. Put it in the car with you. Let it ride to work. But here's the thing. Fool it. Get about three or four blocks down the road and pull over and say, get out of my car. My God. You said you got to do like Jesus said. Come out. He told the man that, that was biting himself and cutting himself out of it in the tomb. He said, he said, come out of him. And that, them demons came out and when the demon came out, he, he seen that Jesus was coming afar. And he hollered with a loud voice, Jesus, why are you here? When Jesus said, what is your name? He said, my name is Legend. Come on, somebody. God, Jesus didn't care. Even the, even the trick of the enemy, the, the demons knew Jesus. So that text is really good because it's letting you know that even the demon knew Jesus. And that we need to run to some Jesus in this particular day and time in 2023. Now, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 and 32, having a right attitude, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamity and slander be put away from you. Along with all malice, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God. In Christ forgave you. My God. You can look down in Romans chapter 12 verse 2. It says do not be conformed to this world. But be transformed. Changed by the renewing of your mind. It have to start here in your mind. That by testing you may. Con by testing you may discern. What is the will of God. My God. And what is good and acceptable and perfect. See, when you get God in your life, he starts opening your, 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 your thoughts up. Discerning. This is what it's talked about in Romans 12 and 2. Uh, be, do not be conformed form to this world. Every girl got this now. Think about it. Every girl wants eyelashes. Every girl wants their nails done. Very seldom you find a woman that using her only eyelash. It is a lot. I'm not tripping. And then, but you very seldom a woman that done grew her own nails that God have gave you. 
You spend $65 on something that's growing. Matter of fact, you got nails under the nails that you got put on. But you'll be crying uh, on Easter because the kids ain't got nothing to wear for Easter. But then that ain't good either because that's a pagan day because you should be taking them to church more than just one day on Easter. I don't really even like Easter coming, to be honest, because uh, I think my mom used to give that seat up on Sunday when we would do something together as family. Give that seat up to the sinning people that's coming because a lot of sinning people is coming to church on Easter because they want to show the little boy in his little suit, the little girl in her little dress. But them the little boys and little girls, you should be taking them to church, not only on Easter, all the time, and not letting grandmama and them take them. Come on, you need to get your rusty dusty and come in there with the Lord, with your babies, because your babies will make you cry out for the Lord sometime in life. I'm telling you now, I got 138, so I, I know what I'm talking about. Good son, doing well. We've all went, went through some. Everybody got their own testimony. But I'm telling you, them children will make you go to God. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Come on, take that attitude with you and take it down the block, three or four blocks, and stop. He going to look over at you. She going to look over at you, your attitude. And you tell your attitude, say, you know what? Get out of my car. Get out. Come on. And it talks about that in the Bible, that when you get rid of that spirit, it goes away and goes into dry places, trying to find a place to rest, seeking no place to rest, and it'll try to come back to the house where it left. My God, seal up them cracks. Get some holy Jesus in there. Get scriptures in your body. Talk good out of your mouth. Say positive things. Look at scriptures to whatever your problem is. If it's a relationship, ask God. Google what does God think about bad relationships and what I can do. Start following that instead of uh, Shatika. Shatika don't know nothing. Shatika been in three different relationships in the last four years. And she with a different man today. Two marriages and a boyfriend that wasn't no good. Come on. And if you're over 25, it is no time to be looking for no boyfriend. You need a husband. Come on, somebody. Get in your, have you looked in your cabinets? Is your cabinets got uh, supplies in there? You got enough soap in there, enough bleach. Come on, enough toilet paper and paper towels in there. Have you looked in your pantry, my God? You want a husband. That, is it any soap if he wanted to wash his hands or wash his body? Could you go to your cabinet and get some soap out of there so the man can... Water. Oh, I got some Thai soap for laundry. I don't have no face soap. I can go to the store. No, 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 baby. If you're looking for a husband, start preparing for that man. Stop looking for a boyfriend and you 42. Come on, you don't need no boyfriend. You need a husband. Come on. It is time to understand that what it talks about in Romans 12 and 2, it said about, uh, it said renewing your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God. See, you see, when you put God in there, he's going to start giving you uh, uh, smarts about decisions. Come on. Bad men, bad women, bad people coming in your life. This is what this scripture is talking about. Be transformed to the renewing of your mind. You don't want what the world have. You don't do what the world. You coming out of that. The Bible say, you can quote me, he said, I'm in this world. Come on, but I'm not of this world. I don't do all that. I don't follow these calendars. I go by my money. Excuse me. Did you have anything to drink today? Get a little something to drink. It's Monday. We just kick it around before you go into work. No beer going to be smelling like last night, Jen, talking about, you know, you see a little broke right now. Can you, you, can you give me $6 until, until payday? And I just want to get me something to drink, girl. I ain't eating nothing all night. You've been high all night, drinking all night. That's why you don't have no money this morning. Now you're sitting there, got to do a whole week. And broke is a joke, if that make any sense. This is attitude money. Don't take your attitude with you. And if you do, drop it off on the corner and say, get out of my car. And then put the Holy Ghost on it and say, Jesus, help me with this. So Jesus can seal up them cracks. So it don't come back. I wish I had a church to talk back to me. Well, God bless you all. We're talking about attitudes. Don't let your attitude ride with you today. And if your attitude is riding with you,
get somewhere far out. Take it out in the country. I don't know. Take it to a dry place and drop it off. My God. So he won't have no place to rest. And he'll just whiz it up and die. Come on. If that make any sense on this Attitude Monday. I love you guys. Be blessed. Be safe. And have a good day.